I'm John Schwartz, the Dean of the College of Public Service, uh, and I'd like to say congratulations to the 2020 Criminal Justice graduating class. We're very happy to have you here. Uh, as you watch this uh, Zoom graduation celebration, if you go to the top of your page and you look at view options, if you go down and go to go down to side by side mode on view options on the top of your page, you'll be able to see the PowerPoint and the speaker. Uh, it's my pleasure to congratulate the graduates on their amazing accomplishments. Uh, we are thrilled for all of you and all you'll accomplish. You've made your families and friends very proud. I hope you take from our college and the criminal justice program a belief in yourself and a strong desire to be of service to others. Those are the things that I think make life important. I'm confident with your training, perseverance, and passion, you'll make a positive difference in the lives of those in Houston and beyond. You are now an official UHD College of Public Service Gator alumni, and I hope we stay connected and hear about all your accomplishments in the future. It's my pleasure to welcome and congratulate you to this graduation celebration. And it's my pleasure to introduce Ashley Blackburn, who's the chair of your Department of Criminal Justice and Social Work. Good morning, criminal justice graduates, criminal justice faculty, family, friends, and all others who are able to join us this morning. My name is Dr. Ashley Blackburn, and I serve as the chair for the Department of Criminal Justice and Social Work within UHD's College of Public Service. I am honored to be here to celebrate this momentous occasion with you. This final semester of your academic journey has been one of transition and triumph and you should be so proud of yourselves for overcoming the many challenges you may have faced to reach this important academic milestone. As you know so well, criminal justice professionals are exceptionally important to our communities. Being a criminal justice professional requires a great deal of personal integrity. The compassion, courage, and desire it takes to enter or continue working in the criminal justice field lies in a desire to help others, even in the most dire of circumstances. Earning this degree from UHD makes you unique and uniquely positioned to make a major difference in the lives of others and to work towards social justice in Houston and our surrounding communities. As the chair of the Department of Criminal Justice and Social Work and a professor of criminal justice, I've had the great pleasure of teaching your classes working with you on individual projects, and celebrating with you on numerous occasions. I have also worked with the criminal justice faculty to ensure you receive the best educational experience possible, the educational experience you deserve, the educational experience that has prepared you for your next step in life. I want to thank each of you for your dedication to your studies and to your current or future profession. I also want to thank your family, friends, and others who have supported you along the way. As you leave the halls of UHD and continue your life's journey, I have no doubt that you will be respected representatives of our criminal justice programs. Your faculty have prepared you well for your future and will be here to support you in the years to come as they have during your time here at UHD. UHD will forever be your home, and we look forward to you returning to tell us of your many accomplishments, as so many of your predecessors have done. Best wishes to you, the UHD Criminal Justice Class of Spring 2020. Go forth and change the world. So now I would like to pass it back to Dean Schwartz, and he's going to give us a, an introduction of our very esteemed guest speaker, Mr. Charles Savage. So we're very lucky to have Charles Savage as our guest speaker today. He's a close friend of our college uh, and a, a big supporter of what we're trying to do in the College of Public Service. Mr. Charles Savage is the executive director of the Urban Enrichment Institute. The Urban Enrichment Institute was founded in 1984 as the Fifth Ward Enrichment Program. It is a mentoring and leadership development program designed to empower 
inner city boys ages 12 to 19 with the tools to become responsible men and productive members of their family and community. Please join me in uh, welcoming Charles Savage. Greetings and congratulations to the class of 2020. Your hard work, persistence and perseverance have delivered you to this day of acknowledgement and celebration as you receive your degrees in criminal justice. Your family, your friends, and this community are celebrating right along with you. We're proud of your accomplishment. By attending the University of Houston downtown, you allowed yourself to be educated on a campus that's located in the heart of what is recognized as the most diverse city in this country. It is a campus surrounded by many different neighborhoods, all with their own rich cultures and with the many races, creeds, religions, and colors that really signify the greatness of Houston. Many of you come from these neighborhoods, or neighborhoods just like these. And as students at the University of Houston downtown, you have been allowed to participate in service learning and community service projects that have allowed you to venture out into many of these communities and neighborhoods. And no doubt you have witnessed the daily struggles in these neighborhoods, many of which are underserved and marginalized. Furthermore, this pandemic that we're experiencing right now has revealed even more the need for social, economical, and environmental change. Some of you will be involved in changes that are needed to truly, truly correct the disproportionate number of youth and people of color who now form the largest numbers of those in our criminal justice system. But on this day of celebration, I do not wish to task you with the responsibility of solving all these problems. I just want to line out for you and lay out for you this one very important message. You are needed. You are important. And we've been waiting for you. We, the world, need your experience, your skills, your fresh insight, and your ideas on how to address and attack some of the issues that I've just spoken to. The skills that you have honed over these past few years as you obtained this degree, along with your determination, moral conviction, self-discipline, and the goal setting that you've evidently accomplished are now part of who you are. This is your character. This is a character that's going to bode well for you in the coming future, and not only your professional life, but in your, your social and personal lives. But also know that as you venture out, the seeds of change have already been planted. They were there before this pandemic started. And you're going to need to decide where you are best suited to serve, to place your skills and yourself in your service to this, this country, in this nation, and the world. And most importantly, what is most important for you? But I'm sure that in whatever job, new program, project that you encounter or that you pursue, you're going to do well. I can almost guarantee that many of you coming from this university are headed and dedicated to doing good. Good things will happen for you. One thing I want you to really, really know is that I want you to be able to always model what you expect of others. This is a very important aspect. My years in corporate America and now in, in community-based organizations and nonprofits have taught me that you must model what you wish to see in others. And also, most importantly, is that you never forget where you come from or where you came from. And then, remember to always
always, always, always try. That old cliche about the only thing that really beats a, a failure is a good try. And as I leave you, as I leave you today to celebrate, to continue your celebration, I have one request of you. At the end of the day, when you go home and you've got that big smile on your face and you have your degree in hand, you celebrate it with a few or with many or with just by yourself. And please do by all means celebrate. When you get home, I want you to find your mirror. Go to your mirror, stand in front of it with your degree in hand. Look at that mirror. Throw your shoulders back, push your chest out, exhale, get your head up high, and get a great big smile on your face, and look in that mirror, and this is what I want you to say. Now, what's next? What's next? You'll be answering this question for the rest of your life because with your talent and skills, you're going to find many different pursuits and a lot of goals to reach. Class of 2020, have a great day. Celebrate. This is your day. We're proud of you. Stay healthy. Be blessed. And don't forget, get ready for what's next, because whatever is next is for you. Congratulations. And take care. Thank you so much to Mr. Savage for taking the time to put that uh, video together for us today. What a great inspirational message. And to leave us with the question, what's next, is certainly something that uh, we want you all to consider as you complete your degree program here at UHG. I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Judith Harris now, and she will be introducing our student speaker this morning, Ms. Elizabeth Clark. Good morning, everyone. It is my absolute honor to present our undergraduate student speaker, Elizabeth Clark. Elizabeth personifies what it means to be UHD strong. She's passionate about social justice and service. I have watched Elizabeth mentor and lead her peers both in and out of the classroom. Elizabeth's long-term goal of becoming a light for justice is now a short-term goal as she prepares for law school. All of us in the Department of Criminal Justice and Social Work will continue to support you, Elizabeth, and all of our graduates as you begin this new chapter in your lives. Elizabeth, this is from me. I know you will continue to empower all those around you by remaining kind, just, and strong. I present to you Elizabeth Clark, our student speaker. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Uh, I just want to start with congratulating my fellow class of 2020 criminal justice graduates. Um, my name is Elizabeth Clark, and I promise to keep this brief. Uh, most of us have, have been envisioning this day for years, and I'm sure I'm not alone, but this is a little different than I imagined. Uh, I, first want, I also first want to thank the faculty and staff that prioritized this event and put it together. And I also want to thank the faculty that trusted me with giving this speech, who you can probably guess uh, who asked me, but I won't attach their name to my name, just in case this goes very poorly. I would not want to ruin their reputations. 
Uh, I also want to thank my family for always supporting me, even when I was a particularly stubborn teenager, and no one would have faulted them for cutting their losses. When I, when I was first asked to deliver this address, I was so honored I accepted without much thought. And then I realized just how different this would be than the majority of my writing portfolio. So I began where I always do when writing, copious amounts of research, hours lost down rabbit holes, and in this case, hope and a touch of anxiety. I am eternally grateful for the experiences I have had at UHD. Our professors are passionate about both criminal justice and the success of their students. They know our faces and even our names. My professors push me and still push me to go as far as I can to make the greatest difference in the world that I can. I hope to make those that believed in me proud and to take what I've learned at UHD and to help others protect vulnerable individuals and embody the concept of public service. I'm so proud to be a UHD graduate. UHD students are tough, focused, and compassionate. Graduation is always a major accomplishment, and I'd argue graduation, graduating this semester during such hardship and uncertainty is, even, is an even greater accomplishment. This graduating class has the usual determination and commitment that all UHD graduates have, as well as the additional strength of completing our final semester despite a pandemic. Our professor, professors have encouraged us to change the world, which unquestionably is a momentous task, but do not be discouraged. I urge my fellow classmates to continue to persevere in the face of uncertainty and adversity. Congratulations again, and I look forward to seeing you all in person in the same room in December. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth and Dr. Harris. Elizabeth, we're so proud of you uh, and all of our graduates. And you certainly do what Mr. Savage uh, mentioned in his talk, and that's modeling what you want to see in others. And that's uh, one reason uh, among many that we asked you to be the student speaker today. Uh, thank you for representing your fellow graduates. And, uh, and we appreciate your talk. It was beautiful. So now we would like to move our ceremony on and recognize each of our graduates individually. We're going to go program by program. We're going to start with our Masters of Science in Criminal Justice program and then move on to our Bachelors of Applied Arts and Science in Criminal Justice program. And then um, we will recognize our graduates in the Bachelors of Science in Criminal Justice program. So uh, if we will start with MSCJ, we will begin recognizing each of our graduates. So from the Masters of Science in Criminal Justice program, Jacqueline Castaneda, Oscar De Leon, Myrna Grant, Kay Hesketh, Ping Jung Lee, Felix Liscano, Esmeralda Lopez, Joshua Nowitz, Cedric Robertson, Jesse Stubblefield, Linda Tran, Yvette Velasquez, Zamir Yassin, Kaylee Zamora, And congratulations to our Masters of Science in Criminal Justice graduates. We're very proud of your accomplishments. And now we'd like to move on to recognize each of our Bachelors of Applied Arts and Sciences in Criminal Justice program graduates. Uniqua Archie, Daniela Austin, cum laude. Marlenis Ayala, Carl Flores, Marcus Jordan, Freddie Khalid, Yolanda Moriera, Alma Phillips, Javier Ramos, J. 
Justin Robbins, cum laude. Jose Sanchez, summa cum laude. Eric Saunier. William Stegall. Stephen Torres, cum laude. Jasmine Wilson, magna cum laude. And now I would like to welcome Dr. Barbieri, Dr. Gilmore, and Dr. Harris as they read the names for our Bachelors of Science in Criminal Justice program graduates. Alexander Adams, cum laude. Casey Aguilar, magna cum laude. Carlos Aguilar, Santa Cruz. Coraima Alfaro. Dariana Almodovar. Dina Amaya, cum laude. Shaiwana Anderson. Mallory Bear. Olumuyu Yiwa Bambos. Sharani Banks, magna cum laude. Natalie Benitez. Nakia Bryant. Kaylee Calver, Hector Campos, summa cum laude. Candelaria del Carmen Carranza. Javon Carter. Aida Chavez. Angela Shavira. Susana Chicas Halaman, summa cum laude. Mohammed Chishti. Cum laude. Elizabeth Clark, summa cum laude. Rick Dale, magna cum laude. Sahi Diamande, Donkela Dixon, Michelle Escobar, summa cum laude. Donora Espinoza, cum laude. Eric Felton, Latoya Flanagan, Blake Fritz, Patricia Garcia. Kimberly Garcia, Jacob Garza, Cynthia Gonzalez, Carissa Grady, summa cum laude, Charnay Griffin, Cum laude. Alyssa Hargrove, summa cum laude. Margaret Hopt. Maria Hausler, cum laude. Juliana Herrera. Brandon Jackson. Amber Lively, cum laude. Justin Lombardi, magna cum laude. Dante Martinez, Mariela Mata, Gregory McClendon, Angela Medell, cum laude. Andrea Moreno, summa cum laude. Esvedi Moreno, Casey Nelms, Patrick Wynn, summa cum laude, Antonika Norman, Julissa Ortega, magna cum laude, Andrea Patino, cum laude, Manuela Perez, Shamika Perry, Doc Tan Pham, summa cum laude, Miguel Pineda, summa cum laude, Rika Lay, Pit Pit, Michael Puffer, summa cum laude, Mia. Ramirez, magna cum laude.
Nancy Raymond, Danish Rayufi, Kum Lode, Jaron Reason, Jacqueline Reese, Giselle Reyes, Magnum Kum Lode, Priscilla Rivera, Kum Lode, Roberta Robert, excuse me, Rivera, Carlos Rivera, Karen Rodriguez, Cum Laude, Ariana Rodriguez, Lourdes Sanchez, Suma Cum Laude, Rafael Sanchez Luna, Emily Shepherd, Jasmine Silva, Angel Soria, Carla Soto Ortiz, Anisha Stevenson, Jean Pierre Stewart, Nevin Thomas, Kyra Thomas, Kendria Tippins, Ladale Tong, Israel Thomas, Socrates Chuyo, Jesse Upal, Summa Cum Laude, Dinora Vega, Kendry Washington, Priscilla Ibarra, Cum Laude, Rome Cherie Zakaria, Cum Laude, Wende Zinuga, Magna, Cum Laude. Okay, I would like to stand, extend my congratulations to each and every one of our criminal justice graduates we have recognized here this morning. Remember that you will be able to participate in the next UHD commencement ceremony. And there is also the university's Facebook Live, live streaming class of 2020's graduation celebration planned for June 11th at 7 p.m. I am grateful, however, that we were able to hold this celebration specifically for you, our criminal justice graduates, at the time at which you earned your degree. I would like to especially thank our guest speakers, Mr. Savage and Ms. Clark, as well as Dean Schwartz, Dr. Barbieri, Dr. Gilmore, Dr. Harris, and Ms. Gamino, who made this celebration ceremony possible and all of our other faculty and staff who attended this morning to recognize our graduates. Again, my most sincere congratulations to you all and best wishes for a wonderful and safe summer. <laughs>